Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Uh, this uh, following program will happen as part of Documentary Mondays, which is a project of uh, Czech centers in collaboration with Institute of Documentary Films. My name is Ivana Formanova, and I'm the manager of Kinedoc, which is an alternative distribution of documentary films. And it is my absolute pleasure to, in, to welcome here uh, the Czech director, Helena Trištívková, whose film you can currently see on Da Films, Mallory. And we will talk about it in the following mm -hmm. interview. So uh, welcome, Helena. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for invitation. Hello. And uh, so um, uh, I have to apologize me for my bad English. I um, started with my English after 40 and I have no many opportunities to, uh, to speak mm -hmm. English. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think your, your English so far is very good. So uh, I will start uh, with the with the first question. So uh, in your film, uh, which was awarded uh, the Crystal Globe at the Carlo Vivari International Film Festival for Best Documentary, you follow uh, the protagonist Mallory for 13 years after her addiction treatment. How did you and Mallory actually meet in the first place? Yes, it was in uh, year 2002 and I uh, worked on uh, such a um, series of documentary films for Czech TV about drugs, about different aspects of drugs. And my topic, uh, so on this series, uh, worked uh, uh, more um, filmmakers. And my topic uh, was women. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was necessary to find one woman who um, finished her mm. um, her drug uh, abuse mm. uh, uh, when she uh, became a mother, mm. and uh, it was Maori, and uh, so we met uh, in this year. She has a son, uh, Christoph, um, half year old, and uh, uh, so we made such a part uh, of her life uh, in this in this series, and so I um, uh, I saw that uh, she is so. Um, she fascinated me uh, with her openness and authenticity, yes. And uh, so I decided to continue uh, watching her life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you filmed her for a very, very long time, over the period of 13 years. So you built a very special relationship with, your, uh, with the protagonist. So how do you actually gain their trust or how, how does this relationship work? Yes, uh, it's of course uh, the main aspect of uh, documentarists work because you are working with uh, uh, authentic people and uh, uh, so I always try to be open, honest and serious, never to anyone ever I don't force, I respect uh, the wishes of my heroes, yes. If, uh, um, if, if possible, and uh, when they doesn't want to say anything, I respected it. Mm -hmm. um, well, you you are um, an expert in time lapse uh, documentary uh, filmmaking, and uh, the results were extraordinary stories of individuals such as Marcela or Rene or uh, Katka. So how does your specific documentary style work in practice? Uh, can you be in every situation present when something interesting or important is happening in the story? So I am um, in contact with my um, heroes, big protagonists, uh, and uh, sometimes I call them sometimes sometimes they uh, they call me it's uh, now in this time uh, of mobile phones uh, more easier than before because uh, when I started uh, were not mobile phones and uh, so and some of our protagonists 
uh, had not uh, uh, telephone, uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. And it was it was really complicated. Now, now is uh, is is easier, and uh, so we are in contact, and we are speaking not only about our common work, but about normal situation in their life, and uh, so mm -hmm. it. Uh, I said to them that they are part of my life and they said to me that it's uh, from their side the same. <laughs> we are parts of our life. That's beautiful. So um, when you were, uh, but when you were filming, did uh, Mallory, for example, call you when something important was happening in, in her life? Uh, so, so, so that you can film it for, uh, for the documentary? Uh, uh, it's I I didn't understand. Uh, Sorry, if if for example you were filming Mallory over the period of thirteen years, yes. So did she, for example, call you when something important was yes, happening? Yes. yes. Of, course, of course, and mm -hmm. and uh, from time to time, me we were in contact, uh, permanent mm -hmm. contact. But uh, in this time, I was in contact with other other my protagonists because. Um, this um, long-term observation has su such a specific that I am making more mm -hmm. topics in the same time. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yes, of course. Um, so can you tell which of uh, the people or the stories was closest to you? Um, it's, uh, it's hard to say. <laughs> that it's impossible to say because um, uh, all these uh, films or all these stories are part of my um, of of my effort to um, connect uh, the documentary with story. Yes, mm -hmm. and and effort to catch our life in special different aspects and uh, mm -hmm. our life in our time. Yes, it's. And I hope that it could be, could be. I hope interesting for, for the future, as a, a um, picture, how we lived in this time. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so, what did uh, Mallory say when she first uh, saw the film, um, or what does your heroes say in general about the movies? Are they trying to change something? Are they happy with uh, how they come out to the audience? <laughs> uh, from time to time, uh, uh, our our protagonists uh, say that that something it's not so good for them but it's um it's it's not uh not in not very often yes mm -hmm. and in the case of Mallory, uh, she was very satisfied with this film and uh, uh she was um, in Karlovy Vary on mm -hmm. festival and i uh hope that it was such a highlight of her life, yes, because um, she was such a uh, very famous personality there. And uh, so then this um, this award for this film, uh, she was present uh, to, and it was such a great pleasure uh, for me, of course, but for her, especially because it was something um, extraordinary in 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 her life, and uh, what's interesting that she is uh, very connected with this film, and she uh, um, she is such uh, a part of a, a special uh, drug prevention program. Mm -hmm. uh, for schools, and uh, she is very often uh, making um, uh, discuss in in schools with mm -hmm. uh, uh, about uh, about her um, 
her experience with mm -hmm. drugs and uh, she uh, used use this film together mm -hmm. that's that's amazing um so actually the story of mallory in contrast with your other films uh, has a positive outcome because she overcomes her addiction so do you think that uh, the documentary helped her in that in some way or and do you follow her story even today yes yes uh, i think that um, that it helped her very um, very much because um, um, yeah, it was such another part of of her life uh, after the film because she was mm, such an uh, interesting personality, many interviews and so, and uh, um, I think that f especially for her, it was uh, a great uh, benefit. Mm -hmm. Right. Benefit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so um, can you tell us a little bit more about your uh, filmmaking process? Uh, when do you know, for example, that it's time to end the story, stop shooting and go to the editing room? So uh, all my projects have a predetermined uh, deadline, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I know um, when I have to finish because um, um, uh, there are uh, production contracts and uh, uh, there uh, these um, contracts are signed for a certain time yes and mm -hmm. a certain period of time and uh, uh, so i know the time for finishing our film but uh, uh, then is a possibility to to start with a new project, no uh, financing with the same protagonists. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it uh, in my film was more times such a situation. Mm -hmm. And how long does the editing process uh, last? <laughs> you must have so much, uh, so much footage to choose yes, from. Yes. yes, but I have such a special method uh, uh, after. Our, um, Ever um, shooting days, uh, uh, I let make a transcript of of mm -hmm. this um, of this um, shoot, shooting period, mm -hmm. and uh, then um, I am prepared for um, for editing room that I have all my um, all my material. Mm -hmm. you know, on paper, yes, and I can prepare it better uh, that I, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's my method, I don't know if it's uh, for every filmmaker um, such a good uh, method, but for mm -hmm. me, yes, that I have all on papers and I can uh, so here in this uh, period, our protagonist said this and that, and we can use it. And uh, this transcript uh, helps me very much in uh, very mm -hmm. much in, in editing room. And uh, so I have to be prepared because of course we have uh, such a great, mm -hmm. uh, materials mm -hmm. and uh, and it's necessary to uh, to make a form from this uh, from this footage yes and it's uh, i would say the uh, the highest mm -hmm. um, problem mm -hmm. of making documentary to to give the form mm -hmm. uh, to the to, to our footage right um so you are usually filming stories uh, which can be uh, or you can find yourself in a little bit dangerous situations or not very easy stories or situations to follow uh so have you ever been scared while shooting so <laughs> i can say that uh, it's my uh, voluntary decision to make this film these mm -hmm. topics and uh, I have to accept or 
all, all circumstances um, that arise during um, their realization, realization mm -hmm. I must not be afraid, but uh, so, of course, sometimes you are not in very, very comfortable place, situation, but mm. uh, it's, it's a part of my, of my work. I have to be prepared for all. Mm -hmm. You are brave. <laughs> um, so uh, you used to uh, create documentaries uh, directly for television, but now you are making films for with a production company. Yes. Uh, can you tell us uh, what is the difference uh, for you? Of course, it's a great difference, and it's uh, it's uh, a great positive uh, contribution mm -hmm. to my work. Uh, uh, I have better working conditions. Um, negative takes care of, of the participation of my film on festivals, for example, it's, it's um, a great bonus. Uh, and uh, so it's more and more better. And um, so uh, I, I am very lucky that, uh, that uh, I can cooperate with Negative Company, perfect cooperation more than 12 years. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Um, can you tell us how many projects uh, are in progress uh, that you are working on uh, at, at one time or um, how many how many stories have not been published? Do you, no, do you... uh, no um, all, all my project I am uh, working on are uh, continuing um, uh, of, of um, project uh, uh, published uh, and uh, mm, so it's it's all is a continuation of uh, already known stories mm -hmm. not nothing is is um, new and how many I don't know about 10 projects mm -hmm. so, so yes all, uh, for example, marriage at it, it's six parts, yes, of, of mm -hmm. one project. It's mm -hmm. no, no, so three, four project. Mm -hmm. And are there any projects that you decide uh, not to publish or that you stop following after some time? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, in some times, um, uh, for example, from marriage at it, uh, mm -hmm. it was um, observation of two uh, two people, uh, marriage couple, yes, and yes. from time uh, some uh, after, especially after divorce, um, one one person. Uh, didn't want to cooperate, but mm -hmm. the second is um, is is um, so mm -hmm. can cooperate with us. So so yeah. uh, this project is continuing. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, never never is was such a situation that. Uh, was necessary to stop this project be mm. before finishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us what are you working on right now? Uh, especially now, I am uh, working on the second part of uh, René, mm -hmm. because René uh, is, I would say, very interesting personality, such a, uh, a social, and intellectual personality. It's not very mm, so you, you, usual, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, such, a, such an interesting person. So we made, um, um, we observed him uh, 12 years after mm -hmm. finishing the first film about him. And now it will be, uh, it will, be ready, I hope, in uh, 
I don't know. I, I hope in some months. Oh, really? So nice. it's, it's annual. It's annual, uh, new work. So no new I, project. Yes, I'm looking forward to it very much then. Um, my last question is uh, actually about documentaries in general. So what is actually the power of documentary film in your opinion? So I am a documentary enthusiast <laughs> and um, I believe in, in the power of documentary films and um, documentary films uh, can be testimony about our time for the future. So I decided um, for documentary film um, when I started um, my studies on film academy and, uh, and, and this decision was, I would say, the best decision in my life to make documentary films. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, Thank you so much uh, for this interview. Thank you for being here. And, and I'm looking forward to more of your upcoming films. Uh, good luck with uh, finishing all your projects. It seems like you have a lot on your plate. And also thank you to the viewers. Uh, and don't forget to watch Mallory uh, on the films. You can still catch it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for invitation and for interests uh, for my films. Thank you. Thank you so much.